This is a super simple way of extracting metadata information like latitude and longitude from a folder full of photos that have been geotagged. And in this case, these are drone photos. And so they have all the information associated with them. So there's a couple of things that you'll need. First of all, on the right hand side here, I just have my handy notes that remind me what I need to do. Then I also have this folder full of all my photos and I need to know what that folder location is that I'm going to be able to take from the top there. That's the address. And in another area, or it could be in the same folder, I have this EXIF tool executable file. And you can download that for free just by Googling EXIF tool and you'll be able to download it here. Now, once you have that in place, then it's going to be time to conduct the processing. So all we need to do is to open the command line. So if we right click down here and hit run, and I'm going to type CMD for command line, and I'm going to send that just to my C drive and hit OK for that one. Now that opens up the command line window just here, and it's not exactly in the right directory that I need it in because that's not where my my EXIF tool or my folder or my folder full of photos are. So what I'm going to do is to go through my my directions here. So the first thing I need to do is to change directory to the location of where I have my EXIF tool executable file. So CD for change directory and I'm going to just type in CA software and a quick and easy way to do that is just to copy it there. So control C and then just right click over in the command window and you'll see now that I have that up as my C prompt there for CA software. Then the next stage I just need to run the next line of code which I'm going to pull out from over here as well. So I copy that here and I'm going to paste that. So basically that's going to call the EXIF tool executable file. It's going to extract the file name, latitude, longitude, altitude, the created date of the, of the file itself, the relative altitude, which is also stamped in the photo. And then this minus T is going to allow us to put the data in individual columns. The minus N is going to change the coordinates to make sure that they're in decimal degrees. And we also have this, this part here for minus EXT JPG, which means it's only going to look at JPEG files that are in that particular location. And also have minus CSV, which is going to allow me to output that into a CSV file. So now I need to tell it what folder I'm going to be looking for those data. So I'm just going to come back here and copy that directory structure and pop back over here and paste that in there. So it's going to go in this particular folder and then go out to that same folder, but I'm going to give it a file name of out.csv. And all I need to do is hit enter. And that takes a moment of processing and out pops a file here. And you'll see that I have all that information there. So I've got the, the file name in that, from where it's, where it's been derived, the file name itself, latitude, longitude, altitude, created date, and relative altitude. Now this is going to allow me to plot it in a GIS, which was my ultimate goal.